Ross, did you pop in chat last night? Did you? We had like, what, over 100 people? Those of you who are there, you know, it was crazy. As I said yesterday, I promised yesterday that I'd be in chat at between 7 or 7.30. Um, and I got home from the grocery store and I was putting stuff away. And all of a sudden I was like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. So I looked at um, the clock and it was 7.34. So I ran in there, beep, boop, 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 beep, boop, boop, boop. And I, um, I um, got, got in just a couple, uh, a couple minutes late. Oopsies! Hi, vlog buddies. It is such a great day. Oprah's good. It's a good Oprah. If you, if you missed it, it was about people who are sick and ill, like terminally in some cases, and how they're living their lives now. And it made me want to buy a juicer. You know what I mean? Because this girl was so she she just she was living life now. It was like, hello, I would like to do that. So that's what I'm going to do from now on: is live life. Um, even more than I do. I think we should all do that a little bit. Not to get all preachy deachy, but it, it made me, just made me want to juice something. Like, nutrients, glunk, 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 vitamin, look at me. Um, I'm a little sinusy today. There's something going on, but I'm not going to complain about it because I'm a healthy man. Yes, I am. What was that? Did you see that? So, uh, everything's just sort of like disarray here. As you notice, they're, they're bringing in my new laptop, or laptop, my new desktop computer, because the one I have is just totally broken. I just ate lunch. My whole schedule's wacky, though. I had to come in late today because I'm staying late to do a bunch of stuff, and, and it threw off my morning, and threw off my coffee, and it threw off everything. <sighs> Blog buddies. Let's take a breather, man. Um, but I want to tell you about something. I, okay. So, you know, I moved into my new place, and you know that I have those big windows, really big windows that overlook this park, and it's so much fun. I never thought it would be this much fun. Well, let me tell you, I'm trying to watch less TV than I have in the past, just because I think you are too sort of sedentary. You're just there when you're watching TV, so I'm like, it's time to be out and about and mo move more. You know what I mean? And things that are more conducive to moving are things like radio music because you can watch I, I would find myself going home and just watching TV and like realizing before I go to bed like you got nothing done you got nothing done but when I listen to music or TV I wash dishes I do laundry I flip through my which my new favorite thing in the world when I hear just okay I'm going somewhere but just we're gonna stop it along some places before we get there so my new thing in the world favorite thing in the world when I moved I got to forward my address, and when you do that online, you get to choose if you want any specific catalog sent to you. And I'm not really a junk mail kind of person. It usually makes me furious when I open up my mailbox and I see in there, you know, a rainforest full of ads for Penny Saver. Penny Saver, what? Pen Have you heard that jingle? Oh, I'll, I'll put a link. Remember back in the day when I was blog buddies? This is a few weeks ago. I said, you got to find me this jingle online. I love it. Penny Saver now. Wah! Penny Saver! It's the best jingle slash worst jingle I've ever heard. I'll put a link to it right here. It's no longer on the radio. They took it off. It was just a local thing, I think. Anyway, the best jingle ever. It's linked on here. you got to listen to it. Anyway, my God, this is a long story. My favorite thing is to now look through the Crate and Barrel CB2, which is like the discount Crate and Barrel, West Elm, all those other ones. I forget what. Anyway, I get the catalogs now, and I just love to have a glass of ice water the radio on and I sing man breathe with no air air no air no air and I just flip through my magazines but, ooh and I dog ear like you know when you flip the thing like ooh that table when that goes on sale I'll have to take a look at that my favorite thing in the world to do where was I going oh less TV more music more radio another thing that's conducive to not watching television is watching the best program that I've seen in a long time, which is the view of the park out my window. The stuff that happens in a park. You guys, I have seen it all. There is R-rated programming. There is 
PG rated program. There's there's G rated programming. There is, um, you know, sports shows. People playing frisbee. There are there are. I mean, there are so many different types of programming. Looking out the window, watching my park, from l young couples making out. That's kind of the R rated. Even though I think one time I saw worse. But I'm just saying. And by, I have no qualms. I will watch it. I watch people play Frisbee. There's Animal Planet because there's dogs playing. There's people doing Tai Chi. Oh, wait. wait I'm ruining. Okay. So, anyway, I bought... One second. I bought, and I threatened to do this, people. Give me one second. I threatened to do this, and people didn't really believe that I was going to do it, but I have no shame. I went to Target yesterday and bought binoculars. Okay. And this is how my mind works. They, there were a whole line of binoculars all around, you know, $20 or so, which is, you know, a lot of money, but it's worth it for the time that I have put into this. So I said, well, I want the best I can in that price range. And it was 12 times. It magnified things 12 times. And I'm like, that's the best? That's what I want, because I want the best for $20. So I got them home, and I, I got too strong of, like, magnification, because when I look out the window... I can see like blades of grass perfectly, but when I find a person, I see like this corner of their shirt. It's too like, whoa, it's too strong. So I'm going to bring them back and get a lesser one. But listen, I know you're probably thinking like, Russ, you can't look out your window at people in the park with binoculars or you'll be that person. Too late. I'm that person. <laughs> I don't care. I really don't care. And here's the deal. Y'all are going to get to reap the benefits of it. Why? Because we have a new segment here that will be reoccurring on the Ross blog. And what's it called? It's called a <gasps> Park Report. Take a look. Who doesn't love the Park Report? Park, park Report. <laughs> so today in the park, this morning I woke up, a man doing Tai Chi full-on white outfit and a metal bar. I don't know if it was Tai Chi. I actually think he might have been making it up. Because he was just kind of... Mm, 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 like smelling his pit a lot. I, I don't know what he was doing. But it was totally enthralling. And then I went to take a shower and I came back. I saw a man... Because I, I was looking like this, watching the guy do it. I don't care. So then I turn and look over there, and there's a guy doing, um, he brought his own barbecue. By the way, this is like 9 in the morning. And he was cooking ribs on a barbecue at 9 in the morning. I don't know if it was like if he had a bunch of friends coming, and they were all going to, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but here's the deal Dr. Navy, you know my new neighbor and I we have no, uh, he doesn't buy binoculars but uh, one time there were kids lighting things on fire at night in the park and he called me, he's like, neighbor, are you watching? I said, yeah, watching, so he came down, we were watching together and then we called the cops on him and the cops came oh, shoot, should I even say that? no we didn't but the kids ran away anyway, if we had binoculars, I could have been like Breaker Breaker 1-9, this is me on a police CB radio. We have a 417 in progress, 942-6971. Kids lighting fires in the park. Suspect is wearing, you know, overalls and a hat backwards. Breaker. I need a life. But in the meantime, I'm just going to embrace what I am. All right, people, I just got an email, so I'm sorry. <sighs> There you go. I've officially lost it. I'm bringing these back. I should probably be very careful with them. Um, thanks to the return policy of the fine people at Target. And uh, I want you to have a fantastic day. I will see you tomorrow. Tomorrow! The blog will be up tomorrow. Bet your bottom keyboard that tomorrow there'll be blog. I'll never do that again. Bye. Sing it with me. Who doesn't love the park report? Park report. <laughs>